Um, hello, everyone. Uh, let me introduce you to our project, which is called Patreon, and which implements a new type of crowdfunding using decentralized um, smart contracts on the Ethereum platform. Most of you probably are familiar with some of these payment providers, which, among other things, uh, offer recurrent payments. One of the prominent examples is Patreon, which lets users support their favorite creators, that is, musicians or programmers or artists, with monthly pledges. But we see multiple problems with existing solutions, and we try to solve them. So the first problem is that users are forced to reveal uh, private information, starting from your name and address, and also your banking details, which some of the users may be reluctant to give away. The second problem is that the fees are high. For the creator to withdraw money that he has collected on the platform requires paying a fee from 5% or even more, and including the credit card fees. And the third problem is that the creator has to trust the platform, um, and um, the creator has to trust that he will receive the money at the end of the day. So we solve these problems with the smart contract. Uh, privacy of users is preserved because the only thing that's required is a Ethereum address and some coins, and the user can support favorite artist, favorite creator. The fees are low. Um, there are no fees except for usual Ethereum transaction costs, and that costs on the order of a couple of US cents, which is much less than existing solutions. And we use the trustless execution by the Ethereum network. That means that um, only the creator and the supporter can withdraw money according to the rules predefined in the source code. So everybody can look at it, everybody can see that nobody can run away with the money. So imagine Alice, she deposits some coins into the smart contract, and every month Bob, the musician, and Charlie, the programmer, receive a pledge. But then, after some time, Charlie decides to become lazy and does nothing, and Alice cancels her pledge to Charlie, but continues to support Bob. So, and now it's time for demonstration of our possible user interface. So imagine Alice, she has a balance of $100. Uh, she already supports Bob here, and she also wants now to support Charlie. And she adds Charlie to the list of creators she supports. So now Charlie knows that he will receive $5 next month, so some, some time passes. Charlie received $15, and then he became lazy, and Alice decided to cancel her pledge. So she canceled her pledge. Charlie doesn't expect any money to be received next month, but he can withdraw $15 that he earned in the previous month. So we implemented our solution with a smart contract in Solidity and uploaded it on GitHub. You can have a look. Um, so that's basically it. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's really cool, um, especially on the aspect of um, that you said can't be blocked or like anonymous, kind of. How do you do anonymity on, so I have like two or three questions at the same time. How do you do anonymity on Ethereum? Um, we all know that Ethereum is not a real blockchain because it's not censorship resistance, uh, as the DAO showed. So how do you make sure the funds are still available? Uh, so yeah, privacy and how do you make sure the funds can be lock can't be locked? Uh, OK, we don't implement any additional privacy preserving features. We just based on the assumption that a uh, user is not required to provide any additional information except for the Ethereum address and uh, what you said about the um, uh, censorship resistant and all the stuff. So we implemented our contract in Solidity and it can be as well deployed on the Ethereum Classic blockchain as well as on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can choose. Yay. So, uh, yeah, you had like a wireframe, but uh, what do you have on the GitHub there? What's working, what's not? 
uh, we have a, a complete smart contract in Solidity that um, does the basic features like as a supporter you can deposit some ether, you can create a pledge, um, so you can say I'm gonna uh, for the next say um, six months, every month, I pledge to this address that amount of money and then anytime a, a supporter can withdraw the remaining amount and the creator can withdraw the amount that had been uh, paid so far. So the funds are locked in the smart contract and um, so only the supporter and the creator can withdraw partially these funds depending on the time and the conditions in code. And that's already working. Uh, yes, we uh, at least we tested it in the um, in browser Solidity compiler. Um, yes, it is working. You can test it also. Okay. Bonus question: uh, What will you do if you win the first uh, cash prize? What's next for the project? Um, All the money will help you. There are some kind of additional features we may want to implement. So we'll think about that. Uh, can you tell tell us which are those features? Um, uh, for example, um, one of the features is like. Probably, uh, so for now, in our current, in current implementation, um, all pledges are denominated in Ether, or more precisely in Way. But maybe for the users, it will be more convenient to see dollars and euros in, the, in their accounts. And to do that, we may want to connect some kind of external oracle that would connect to an exchange and report the current um, exchange rate of ether to dollars or to euros, so that it would be more convenient for users. So, kind of one of possible next step would be like this. Do you have any plan uh, to spread your product? Did you contact a uh, uh, YouTuber or some of guys? Uh, not yet, but I it, it, as, as, the, as the first step for making our project more um, public, we uploaded the, go the code to GitHub. So it's like step number one. Uh, then, uh, yeah. There's a lot of projects who uh, uh, release the code on GitHub and nothing happened after. So how the money will help you kickstart? Um, at least we can write that we are the winners of the hackathon. That also <laughs> adds to our publicity. So maybe you'll post on Twitter. That's not enough. Like that. That's not my question. And that's not enough. Are you in touch with uh, people who produce content? Not yet, but we will. Okay, thank you. Thank you.